What's going on you guys? Welcome back for another meal prep video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited for today's video because I'm gonna be doing two different kind of meal recipes that I've never done on my channel. And if you've been a subscriber for a long time, your girl is all about that meal prep life. I've done like 20 or 30 meal prep videos. So I'm very like in my own routine and a creature of habit and I don't mind eating the same thing. But with that, I know a lot of my videos have had very like repetitive recipes in there. And a lot of you have asked if I would kind of make something new. So I wanted to switch back today and do an entire meal prep that was vegan. I was searching on Pinterest for some inspiration and I found these awesome Buddha bowls that looked just amazing. They're gonna make you definitely feel your best and achieve any type of weight loss or fitness or body kind of goal that you have in regards to health because they're mostly just filled with fruits and veggies. You guys know I recently started counting my macros and I do have a pretty high carb allotment for the day. So I am gonna be including some brown rice. You can definitely substitute that out, kind of put in here whatever you would like. And then I'm also gonna show you a smoothie prep for the mornings that is extremely easy and I've already I made these a few days ago so I've already tried one of them and they're bomb. My son loves them as well so if you have kids this is going to be great for them. Of course both recipes are super easy to make and super affordable because I'm not the best cook or like the most advanced so these are extremely easy for you guys to recreate at home. I did get a bulk of my ingredients from the Thrive Market website per usual just because they're definitely the cheapest cost, the best bang for your buck for the ingredients and the groceries that you're getting. I know a ton of you already shop online there, but if not and you have a big family or you like to meal prep, I would highly recommend you start getting your groceries from Thrive. They're basically just like an online Costco. So anything in bulk that you want or even just like brown rice, protein bars, almond butter, they have stuff for kids and for pets. It's like 40 to 50% off retail. So so much cheaper than you would purchase these items for at like a regular grocery store like Stater Brothers or Ralph's. Um, I believe they are also having another promo which is 20% off your whole purchase and free shipping. On top of their rates being like super cheap as well, that's a killer deal if you've kind of been like on the fence about making an order but you're not sure because it's like your first time with a new company and you wanna know what's good before you check it out. So that is a great promo. I'll leave it down below for you. I'm also gonna list some of my favorite ingredients from their site since I've ordered so many times. I'm always showing you guys um, unboxings on Snapchat and stuff and they have a lot of ingredients that my son likes which is great because I kind of try to like pre-prep some of his meals as well. Um, so yeah, I'll leave everything down below. I hope you guys really enjoy these two recipes. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to join my YouTube family if you're not yet already, and I will see you soon. All right, so to get started on the first prep bowl that we're gonna be doing for a few of my lunches for the week, I'm taking one white potato and one sweet potato, peeling them both of course and then you can kind of cut them into potato fries if you would like or you can do like little cubes which is kind of what I'm doing. I'm just peeling the whole thing and then I'm putting them on a tray which I've already uh, sprayed just so nothing sticks at the bottom. I have made these before where they stick to the pan when you take them out of the oven and they're pretty much ruined. They come out like a mash so definitely spray something beforehand. I'm just cutting them all into really small squares. You wanna to try to make sure that your potatoes are all cut around the same size so they cook evenly and they'll all be ready to get out of the oven at the same time so you're not ending up with like half the batch burned. Um, so I just put half sweet potato and half white potato. Uh, personally, what I like to do is poke them all with a fork and then I'll put the ground cinnamon on the sweet potato and then I'll put that Flavor God seasoning or some pink Himalayan salt on my white potatoes. So I was just kind of doing half and half. I did set up my oven at 400 degrees so it was already preheated. Just took these here and popped those in. I believe I cooked them for 25 minutes total, but we're gonna come back to those. So the next carb source we're making is this short grain brown rice. I did grab this from the Thrive Market site. I'm putting one cup of water and half a cup of brown rice because it's always a one to two ratio whenever you're cooking rice this way. I put them both in the pan at the same time and I let it boil. Once it boils, you wanna put a lid over top and put the heat on low and you're gonna let that cook for 45 minutes. So both of those take a really long time. So while they're cooking, we're gonna start on the bowls. So I chose to do spinach here as a base. You could do lettuce, you could do any type of spring mix, basically any type of green that you like. And these bowls are totally customizable. You can put any fruits and vegetables inside that you would like. I just basically took some inspiration from Pinterest. They had really cool Buddha bowl ideas. So I ended up picking up some peppers here in tons of different colors. And then I ended up putting one scoop of corn, 
and then also one scoop of black beans in each. So my hands were completely rinsed and I also rinsed out both cans of these veggies here, especially with the black beans. They have a lot of bubbles when you first open up the can, so you wanna rinse them out like three or four times until all the bacteria and everything is gone just to make sure you are consuming something that's as healthy as possible. Especially with giving some of this food to my son, I wanna make sure there's like zero bacteria in there. So I was putting corn, black beans, spinach, and peppers. So while we were waiting for everything else to cook, I moved on to my smoothie meal prep because the rice and everything was still cooking. I just took four sandwich bags and you're gonna take any type of frozen uh, fruit that you like. So this little dull package had strawberry, peaches, and bananas. Plus I chose to do frozen mangoes because I love those. So what I did is I portioned it out into four different little baggies and then all you do in the morning Open up the freezer, grab your baggie out, and then you can just blend up everything with almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, water. You can do an orange juice base. It just makes it easier in the morning so that everything is prepped out and ready to go. And when I wanna have one of these in the morning, I'll take it out of the freezer and I'll just put it on the scale and weigh it. So I'll know for my macros for the day how many grams of the frozen fruit that I'm having. So I just basically did uh, four little baggies of that, sealed them up, you pop them in the fridge. If you're running late to work or something, just take it out, blend it up, and pop it in a to-go cup, and you're good. Like, literally, that's all I did. It's so easy. And I believe I showed a clip here of what I personally use, which is this um, Silk Almond Milk vanilla flavor, only 30 calories a cup. So I'll pop in one cup of that with some ice, grab my meal prep for the smoothies, and we're good. So about 20 minutes later, my potatoes were done. Got those out the oven. I gotta say the sweet potatoes here with the cinnamon tasted absolutely amazing. I had some that day. They were so good. So you're just gonna pop a bunch onto your little meal preps here. I'm only making four just because a lot of my previous meal prep videos I would make too many meals and a lot of stuff would go bad. So it's just me living with my son so if I wanna make more throughout the week I can. So I put a little bit of the potatoes on there and then I also did some brown rice. So this was all done after 45 minutes. It was extremely fluffy and just tasted amazing. So I put a little bit of that on there as well and that's gonna complete these Buddha bowls. I know they look all cute in Pinterest in like super cute bowls and stuff but because I was doing meal prep I just put them in these like Ziploc plastic meal prep things um, which I just believe I got at the grocery store. They're really affordable. So that'll do it. It was so, so easy, you guys. Let me know if you try this. Be sure to tag me on social media. I'm also gonna leave that 20% off coupon for Thrive Market down below for you guys so you can take advantage of that. And I'll also leave some other meal prep videos that I've recently done here on the screen so you can check out my entire meal prep and workout playlist. I would love if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for just taking time to watch. I really do appreciate you guys and I will see you in my next video.